Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared 4 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we will be going ahead and building the Hummel. The Hummel was a self-propelled gun based on a guest shoots wagon uh, 3-4 chassis and armed with a 15 centimeter howitzer. It was used by the German Wehrmacht during the Second World War from 1943 until the end of the war. The Hummel was designed in 1942 after the need for a mobile artillery support for tank forces had been demonstrated during the invasion of the USSR. The self-propelled artillery already in service with the Warmach had proven of limited value. The first option considered was mounting a 10.5 cm howitzer on a Panzer III chassis, however it was rejected in favor for the same gun on a Panzer IV chassis. One prototype was built. This design was rejected in favor of mounting the more powerful 15 cm uh, SFH 18L-3 howitzer on the specially designed uh, guest shoots wagon uh, 3-4 which combined elements of both the Panzer III driving and steering system and the Panzer IV chassis suspension and engine. The same chassis uh, were also used for the Nash Horn tank destroyer. Uh, the engine was moved to the center of the vehicle to make room for an open top lightly armored fighting compartment at the rear housing uh, the gun and crew. Late models had a significantly redesigned driver compartment and front superstructure offering more room to the radio operator and driver. Um, overall, the Hummel is a very uh, cool artillery piece. I mean, we say this about every tank, but I mean, every tank is cool, right? Uh, so anyways, the Hummel, uh, interesting name, fun fact about it is that in 1944, Hitler ordered the name Hummel to be dropped as it was deemed inappropriate for a fighting vehicle as Hummel uh, means bumblebee in German. So. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, overall, a really uh, interesting vehicle. We don't really have any of these self-propelled artillery vehicles from World War II, so it's fun to get one of these out, and uh, especially for Germany, which is kind of the popular, uh, you know, nation and stuff like that on the channel for vehicle tutorials for World War II. Uh, so overall, really cool stuff, and you can see here we have it in a nice kind of standard tan camouflage. However, obviously you can convert it to a gray um, or whatever you really want to do with it. Um, so as I mentioned, this tank itself is built off of the Panzer IV chassis, meaning that it, it was uh, kind of built off a, of, well actually it was technically built off a combination of Panzer III and Panzer IV chassis. However, the chassis itself kind of leans more on the Panzer IV side with its suspension, amount of road wheels and all that stuff. However, the, uh, as I mentioned, the driving and steering system were that of the Panzer III. So kind of taking the best of the both um, and putting them together into one chassis. Uh, up here in the front we have obviously the driver and uh, or basically the two driver compartments driver and navigator and all that stuff and uh, Once that's all uh, done there, you know, you have the lights and front end lights and all that stuff uh, The gun itself as I mentioned, it's a uh, 15 centimeter main gun. So a really large uh, main gun We have the crew compartment or fighting compartment I should say back here. So all the different instruments and stuff like that to be used uh, to basically control the uh, gun and fire it and all that stuff and everything like that. So anyways, that's pretty much the Hummel. Uh, really cool vehicle. Really glad I can get this out um, as it was uh, been a request uh, from a few people for a while now. So hope you guys can all enjoy it. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer one. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our uh, first layer, we have layer number one. So for layer one, to go ahead and get started here, we want to go ahead and place down a nether brick slab like so, followed by a nether brick top slab coming off that slab like that. Once that's done, going back from that nether brick slab, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven uh, sandstone stairs back, followed by a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven item frames along the side here. And in those item frames, we're going to place down seven. Uh, spruce sandstone blocks all on the side there like that for the road wheels with that done here on the back We're just gonna grab ourselves a narrow brick stair place down a narrow brick upside down stair come off this sandstone stair like that When that's done come off this narrow brick stair here We're gonna place down one two and three sandstone top slabs over fall by a birchwood fence gate open toward this sandstone top slab there uh, So just like that right there going toward the front here We're gonna go ahead and go to this narrow brick slab here We're gonna place down a row of three of sandstone top slabs come off that narrow brick slab to the side there We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some birchwood fence gates and place down a birchwood fence gate open up like that on both ends When that's all finished there, we're gonna take our narrow brick uh, or sorry sandstone top slabs And we're gonna go ahead and place down rows of top slabs in between These rows right here to kind of fill this hole in on the bottom here just like that 
With that done, we're going to go ahead and place down an Arabic slab here on the side, followed by an Arabic top slab coming off of it. Going back from this, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Or my bad, sorry, just 7 sandstone stairs. And like we've done the other side here, we're going to place down a row of item frames along the side here as well. And we're going to place down smooth sandstone blocks in those item frames like that. We also want to go ahead and go to the back here, come off this sandstone stair. We're going to place down an Arabic upside down stair, stair like that. Once that's all done, you should have something that looks like this for the base here of uh, the vehicle. And with that all done, that's going to complete layer number uh, two, or sorry, one. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer number two. All right, guys, go ahead and move it on to our next layer. We're going ahead and move it on to layer two. For layer two to begin with, we're going to place down a smooth sandstone block on top of this sandstone top slab here, followed by a birchwood slab to both sides. Once that's done, come off those blocks toward the front. We're going to place down a row of three of sandstone slabs like that across. We then want to place down a smooth sandstone block on both sides of these burst wood blocks, followed by a item frame and a cobweb in the item frame. We also want to place down a stone button on each end of this uh, row of blocks like that to kind of create the sprocket wheel. With that all finished there, we're going to go ahead and place down a sandstone upside down stair, come off this sandstone stair on both sides here. This is going to be for the uh, fenders over the, over the tracks like that. And we just want to go ahead and then take signs and uh, place down signs here on the side of the stairs and also the back side. So just like this on both sides there for the little fenders over the tracks. When that's done there, we're going to place down a row three of sandstone, two sandstone upside down blocks like this across, followed by a sandstone upside down stair on both sides. Uh, we want to make sure the stair is facing that direction like that. When that's all done, we're going to place down a row of three of smooth sandstone blocks across the middle here, followed by another brick top slab on both sides. Another row of three of smooth sandstone across, followed by again a sandstone upside down stair on both sides. Uh, we're going to place down another row of three smooth sandstone blocks across, another brick top slab on both ends. Once that's done here, another row of three of smooth sandstone blocks across, a sandstone upside down stair again on both ends. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to place down another row of three. Smooth sandstone blocks across, narrow brick top slab, both ends, narrow brick slab uh, going down from those top slabs, and narrow row of three of smooth sandstone blocks across. Uh, we then want to go ahead and uh, take a um, smooth or smooth sandstone blocks again. We're going to place down a uh, narrow row of three across the middle here, like this, followed by a sandstone slab on top of that narrow brick stair on both sides there. And then come off the back here, we're going to place down a sandstone upside down stair followed by a smooth sandstone block on both sides, coming off the side of the smooth sandstone block on both of them, we're going to place down a stone button, and we're also going to place down an item frame on the side with a smooth sandstone block in the item frame, like that, for the back there. Uh, once that's all done there, we're going to go and take a birchwood fence gate, place it down on the sides here, same thing over here, as well opened up toward that block, like that. And with that all complete there, that is going to wrap up layer number two. With that, we can move on to layer number three. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to get started here, we're going to place down a uh, wooden trap door on top of this uh, smooth sandstone block. It's going to be the same thing here on both sides. We're going to place down an item frame coming off that uh, wooden trap door. And same thing over here. And we're going to place down a glass block in the item frame like so. Also coming off the wooden trap door, we're going to go ahead and place down a sign. So just like this, and same thing over here as well. A sign, just like that. When that's all done there, we're going to take a redstone comparator. We're going to place down a redstone comparator back like this, followed by a sandstone upside down stair like this, and one coming off the front of the stair, so something like that. Right now, coming off the back of the stair, we're going to place down a smooth sandstone block like that. And we also would like to grab ourselves a wither skeleton that's cool and place it down off the side there like that. Once uh, that's all finished up there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves smooth sandstone blocks, place down a row three across the smooth sandstone, followed by a sandstone stair on both ends. Uh, we then want to place down another row three of smooth sandstone blocks across, followed by a sandstone corner stair on both ends. When that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some black wool. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of black wool going back from that sandstone corner stair, same thing on both sides here, and a row, two rows of three of smooth sandstone across. Uh, the middle here like so um, but Yeah, it's gonna be two rows of three Across there uh, once that's all finished off there. We're gonna go to the sides here and we'll go ahead and go back one two three and four smooth sandstone blocks back same thing over here one two Three and four smooth sandstone blocks back We're gonna go ahead and take a tripwire hook place it down on both ends Just like that and we want to then take our birchwood planks and place down a row of three across like that uh, then we're just going to take a stone button, place down a stone button on both ends there, and that'll kind of do it there for the back. 
Now for the inside here, uh, we do want to go ahead and do a little bit of work on the inside here. So we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone brick stairs and also some stone brick slabs. To begin with, we're going to take our smooth sandstone blocks and we're going to go ahead and place down another row of three of smooth sandstone block like that, blocks back like that. We then want to place down a stone brick stair in the middle here, followed by a stone brick corner stair on both sides of the stair. We're going to go ahead and go back from this corner stair one stair back on both ends and in the middle space here we're just going to place down a stone brick slab. So that's going to kind of do it there for the back section like that. And um, also on these black wool blocks, I don't think I've covered that, so we want to go ahead and also place down ladders on the sides of those black wool blocks like that for uh, these little vents here by around the engine area. Once that's all complete, that is going to do it for layer number three. With that, let's move on to layer number four. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number four. So for layer four to go ahead and begin with, we're going to go and place down a wooden trap door on top of this smooth sandstone block and on top of this uh, sandstone upside down stair. Going back from this uh, wooden trap door, we're going to place down a redstone repeater with its notches flicked out to the sides. Same thing there on both sides. We then want to go and go to this smooth sandstone block here, place down a sandstone stair with the wither skeleton skull coming off the back of the stair. On both sides of the stair, we're going to place down a wooden sign, just like that. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go and place down a uh, sandstone slab back like this, followed by an anvil, and after the anvil, we're going to place down a sandstone stair like so. Once uh, that's complete, we're going to go ahead and go to both sides of the smooth sand or this uh, sandstone slab here. We're going to place down two smooth sandstone blocks out to both sides. So just like that for the front there. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, iron bar. And we're going to place down an iron bar on top of this uh, wither skeleton skull. When we come back to this section here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone brick slabs. We're going to go ahead and place down one and two. One and two stone brick slabs on the sides here. And then we want to go ahead and grab ourselves smooth sandstone blocks, place down one, two, three, four, five smooth sandstone blocks back. Same thing over here, one, two, three, four, four, and five back like that. And, or my bad, actually it's going to be a row four back and then a sandstone stair here on both sides. So my bad on that. So you should have a row five here and then a sandstone stair on the back here. We're then going to place down a row three of birchwood stairs across the middle in between those sandstone stairs or fall by a wooden trap door coming off the two birchwood stairs to both sides like that. Once that's done for the inside here, for a bit of the interior, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, row of two of smooth sandstone blocks over here to the right side. And on the side of this smooth sandstone block, we're going to place down a wooden trap door. Once uh, that's all done there, that is pretty much all we're going to go ahead and throw on for the interior for this uh, layer. And with that all complete, that is going to wrap up layer number four. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer number five. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have uh, layer number 5, and uh, we're going to go ahead and just kind of uh, do layer 5, uh, layer 6, and layer 7 in this, so we have basically our final layers here, layers 5 through 7, just to make it a little bit easier on ourselves, just knock it out and get it out of the way. Anyways, for us to go ahead and get started for this uh, layer, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by placing down a anvil on top of this uh, sandstone slab right here, so just like that on top of it. We then want to take our smooth sandstone blocks, place down one and two blocks going forward. On this uh, first block right here, we are going to go ahead and take a wooden trap door and place it down on the sides of this uh, smooth sandstone block and just place down a wooden trap door on both sides of it. When that's done, we're going to take cobblestone walls. We're going to go forward one, two, three, four, five, and six cobblestone walls going forward off of this um, smooth sandstone block. When that's all done there, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a iron bar. We're going to go ahead and take our iron bars, go up three more. So one, two, and three more iron bars up there for the radio antenna. With that out of the way, we can go ahead and switch to sandstone stairs. We're going to place down a sandstone stair on both sides of this anvil, followed by a sandstone corner stair, coming off that stair like that to both sides. Once that's done, going back from the sandstone corner stair, we're going to place down one and two more stairs back. Same thing over here, one and two more stairs back like that. We then want to switch to sandstone slabs. We're going to place down... 1 and 2 sandstone slabs back, same thing over here, 1 and 2 sandstone slabs back. With that all finished, it's time for us to go ahead and wrap up the interior in here. So to begin with, we're going to place down a uh, stone brick stair on top of this anvil right here. Going back from the stone brick stair, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves iron trap doors. We're going to place down 1 and 2 iron trap doors, put that back like that. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves cobblestone walls. And on both sides of this, uh, cobble or this uh, stone brick stair, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall like that to both sides there. We then want to place down an iron frame coming off this cobblestone wall, followed by a cobweb like that's coming off of it. We also want to go ahead and go to the side of this wooden trap or this uh, iron trap door right here, and we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull to the side of it like so. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a nether brick stair. We're going to place down a nether brick stair coming off this 
iron trap door to the side here of it, followed by a wither skeleton skull coming off the, or sorry, my bad, a item frame coming off the side of the narrow brick stair, followed by a cobweb, and then we also want to place down a sign on the side of this uh, iron trap door right there. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull, place down one right here on top of the smooth sandstone block, followed by a stone button on top of this one going forward. With that all complete, the last thing for us to do to wrap up this uh, tutorial is to go ahead and grab ourselves sandstone slabs. We're going to go ahead and place down a sandstone slab that's going to be on top of this stone brick stair, followed by one more forward on top of the anvil, and then a wither skeleton skull on top of this smooth sandstone block, just like that. Once you have that all complete, that is going to pretty much wrap up my design for the SD uh, KFZ 165 Hummel. Uh, self-propelled artillery uh, vehicle. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use. As I you know, mentioned before, we don't have very many self-propelled artillery pieces from World War II, so it's nice to get one of those out, and especially kind of a famous one, I guess, or a well-known one, I should say, uh, from the German Warmock. Hope you guys do enjoy the build and are able to put it to good use. If you guys do end up using this design, do actually you guys give me proper credit for it. This may thing from a sign of the build, tweet to my channel, or this video if this does appear on social media sites. As long as you guys give me credit for your free days and forever projects you guys are working on. Overall, have fun with the build and enjoy it. And, uh, you know, as long as you guys give me credit for it, you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, other than that, uh, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 204, and I'll see you guys next time.